Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Tensura X Coat. The God and the Genius by Tempest underscore Moon. Chapter 18 Calm Before the Storm Ryu and Pav. We're sorry for acting without your permission. This lowlife was bleeding all over the place as he tried to plead with his own failure which annoyed me even more. That didn't go as planned. Now tell, who are the bastard that made you gave up the case? I told them in a commanding tone. I know that only violence can control anyone who is weak against the strong and it's the natural order of things in this world. It's Horikita who made me sign up the deal, Horikita. I was curious about the name and I've heard it a couple of times before now. Yes. Horikita Suzune. She's with Tempest Rimuru when she tried to force me to give up the case. And also, a guy named Ayanakoji called us in guise of Kushida to that location. Hmm. Multiple people are on this mess. It's gonna be tough finding out who's the mastermind behind this. Well I don't care, I'll smoke that thing out of the shadow. The guy is nervous which is only natural for me. I'm the most dominant and dangerous man on our class and I want to keep it at that until the rest of the school year. Is there anything else you're forgetting to tell me? No, with my question, Ishizaki only looked down while answering me. Very well. As for your punishment for failure, Albert. He began to tremble in terror as I called upon the name of the guy that will be the carrier of my judgment. I'm sorry for this but, it's boss's orders, Ag. Albert began to give him his treatment and thought about the information that he gave me. For now I'll need to keep an eye to those individuals. I look at the pitiful broken face of Ishizaki while begging me to forgive him. Especially that girl named Horikita Suzune, Rimuru Pav. Good morning seal. Good morning master. It was already 6am when I woke up from my bed and started preparing for a day. Thankfully it's Saturday right now so I am free to roam wherever I want. Hmm. What to do? I guess I could check the stores right after I finished everything here. After such thoughts, I moved with haste and cleaned everything in my room and took a bath right after. When I was done, I entered the elevator and head straight towards the famous cafe in this campus. Hmm. 48,700 points? Well it looks like the case really is a success huh? When the midterm exam ended and the new month arrived, our points was being held due to Sudu's trial. But I guess things worked out in the end, although it's sad that we only got 87 points this month. As I entered the cafe and ordered the food I want, I sat down on a chair while placing my stuff on the table. After I was settled for a bit, I overheard a conversation between two students who kept staring at me for a while now. She's the class D princess right, she's so pretty, and she even got a perfect score on the exams. I wish I could date her. You're way out of her league man, if anything. Maybe one of the popular guys in this school would probably pick her up soon. Aren't they ashamed talking about someone in that particular topic out in the open? Their voice are not loud but anyone who was close enough to their table could overhear their conversation. You're probably right. I heard that Nagumo Senpei is pretty popular among cute girls too, so I think he is probably the only one that she can match up. You bet. So Nagumo is even that popular among the juniors huh? But do they really think I would go with him? Well I guess if he could prove to be useful for my entertainment then I could go along with that. Due to his massive popularity in this school, it was almost impossible not to know about the guy. Also I learned that he was the vice president of the council so I always keep tabs on him from time to time. Fufufu. I wonder how he will react if ever Manabu decides to announce that I'm gonna be his second vice president. All I could see is problems, but that only adds the fun. For such a beauty. It probably feels bad to be a part of the defective class huh? If I were her, I would demand a class transfer right away. Yeah that's true. Even I would feel disgusted being in that class. Hmm. Looks like these brats really underestimate our class huh? Should I give them a little lesson or something? As I was done with my food, I stood up on my chair and took a glance at them. They noticed my actions and gave me flirtatious smile. What's up? Wanna join us? Yeah. We would like to know you more, Miss Tempest. Hmm. Never mind. I think I'll use this opportunity. As they were busy keeping their cool, I asked them a question. Tell me. What class are you? With this, their smiling face dropped and looked at each other before responding to me. 
We're at class C, I see. Foo 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 foo. Oh really? Well I don't mind joining you guys if you really want me to. I moved closer to them and sat on the available seat. I leaned forward and placed both of my hands on my chin as they looked at me with stars in their eyes. Is this really happening? Am I getting my chance to get a girlfriend? Cool your horses man. I'll be the one to get her. It's like I was never even there when they started competing with each other. This annoyed me a bit but the prospects of information is far too good right now. Anyway guys. I've heard that class C did a great job during the exam. You must have a great leader don't you? The two looked at each other and turned their attention towards me and smiled wryly. Um. We did a great job like you said, but I guess it's all thanks to Ryuan's tough love for us. Tough love must mean nightmarish teaching. Really, I thought Ryuan is nothing but a tyrant but it seems like he cares about your class right? The two nodded with hesitation and I chuckled a little by their reactions. Well it must be great being in class C isn't it? Foo foo foo. The two seems to caught up with me and noticed that I was only being sarcastic with them. They started to frown while glaring at me. Now don't sweat it boys. I may have been a part of the bottom class but please don't assume that we will stay there until we graduate. I stood up from the chair they've offered before and took my things up with me before saying my final words. Say this to your leader will you? Class D will be coming for you and there is nothing you could do about it. I left the scene without letting them speak another word and headed towards the girls' bathroom. But while I was contemplating about the information I just had gathered, a group of girls which I don't recognize that well approached me. Sheesh. I thought this is going to be peaceful but it looks like trouble really does follows me. You there. You're Tempest, am I right? A girl who seems to be the leader of the girls speaks in a pompous manner which carries such arrogance towards me. Yes you're right. Is there anything I could do for you? I replied politely while trying not to cause any trouble further. Do you mind exchanging phone numbers with me? Hmm that's interesting. She didn't even introduce herself and she has the guts to ask me that. It's not polite asking someone something without introducing themselves am I right? I smiled and remained a calm friendly vibes. Um. Sorry about that. My name is Manaba and we're from class C. That's suspicious. Tell me. Why does a student from a class which accused us for stirring up trouble wants my phone number? With my question, the girl before me and her friends glared at me with cold eyes. The expression they gave me at first totally changed and now I can feel hostile intentions, but I remained cool. What's this? Did I hit a nerve or something? It's not nice showing that kind of face you know, it makes you more uglier. That last line was the finishing blow as they tried to gang up on me by circling me around. I only smiled at these pitiful brats that didn't even consider where we are currently at. They began talking nonsense when they fully think that I'm surrounded by them. You talk big tempest san, but I'm sure you're nothing but a pathetic girl trying to look cool. Yeah. You're no genius but a fraud. You've probably cheated on those exams anyway, that's why you have those scores. And with the look on your face when our classmates embarrassed you on the cafeteria is amazing. Many other insults was being thrown towards me which I only find funny. Well is there anything more you'd like to add? If there's nothing else you want to say then I'd like to take my leave. As I was trying to grab the door open, one of her friends slammed the door shut and guards it. You're not going anywhere until we get what we wanted, says Manaba, and my calm demeanor turned into a serious one. Then tell me what do you want, I asked. Getting scared now are you? Ha <laughs> ha. We'll make it easy if you comply without any complaints. She's good at this. She probably do this a lot, but why target me though? While she and her friends are mocking me, I thought of the reason why I was being approached this way, and suddenly something clicked. I see. It looks like Class C are onto me, foo foo foo. I can't help but smile. Seal didn't even mention anything about me getting followed like this, which make things much more exciting. What? Aren't you saying anything else? Negative. I guess she did it to make it entertaining so I don't mind not knowing anything beforehand. Now that I've grasped the situation, I decided to try to play a game. Tell me, Ryuan must be pissed at you guys huh? Like a shockwave, their faces turned pale and the disgusting expression they once showed disappeared and in turn, their guards was up. Foo foo foo. Did I hit the right mark? Well it's only natural since you guys started accusing us and then backed down. Now they're mad. They seem ready to attack me at any moment but I didn't stop. 
Ryuan must be mad because you guys caused trouble, or maybe your plan didn't work. With every words I spoke, the girls are getting angrier and angrier. They now started smiling menacingly towards me while letting out a mocking laughter. Those are wild speculation Tempest San. You don't even have a proof to back your claims. Manaba shouted and her friends are in agreement with her, but I'm not in the mood to play along with their little mind games so I find it pointless to stay here any longer. Well I don't care what you guys think, it might be a speculation but you can't deny the fact that your friends started causing trouble. Now that we have that out of the way, I would like to take my leave. Saying my final words, I turned my back against Manaba and moved closer to the door in which the other girl was guarding. I told you not so fast. We're still not done with you so you're not going anywhere. She said and started to annoy me. I have spent quite of my valuable time of peace in this pathetic conversation so stopping me right now is only going to make me mad. I hate repeating myself especially when brats like you won't even care to listen, but I'll say one last time. I looked at her straight in the eyes. Move. A sheer terror was seen across her face and the pressure inside the bathroom tensed up. Sure I was reborn as a human but my presence alone carry weight that any human would be internally shaken. The girl stopped moving and before I could even leave the bathroom I looked back at Manaba who were horrified. It's a pleasure to meet you girls. Fufufu. I'll give you a tip for giving me such entertainment Evantha it annoyed me in the end. I said while putting my point finger on my lips. Manaba regained her senses and took the courage to ask me a question. W what do you mean by that? She asked while feeling the fear within her heart. If you're trying to bring someone down especially if it's more than one, it's only natural that you'd attack the weakest one. But too bad for you, I'm not weak as you thought. Tch, they're pissed and embarrassed and I can see that on their faces. So is a little sympathy for these girls I told them. As I was saying, there are probably people in my class that can fall to your cheap little tricks. So better be mindful on choosing your targets little girls. I walked away from that place without even looking back. Seal. It looks like trouble are piling in class D do you think the class could handle the pressure? There won't be any problem master. Some of the students are doing their best to improve and with the help of the leaders of your class, it's not gonna be long until all of them can work as a team. That's good news. What should I do in the meantime? Master could try approaching that guy. I stopped walking when Seal mentioned someone. I looked around my peripheral view and saw one person sitting on a bench while looking at a mirror. Koinji Ha. Huh. Hello. What are you doing here? Hum. Oh, if it isn't you Miss Tempest. As you can see I'm quite enjoying myself in this fine day. Oh my. Well, do you mind if I join you on that seat? I don't care what you do. You can do as you please as long as it does not bother me. Without waiting for another word, I sat down besides Koinji on the bench, while sitting without doing anything, I asked Koinji something. Man, we ran into some problems huh? What are your thoughts about the exam? He glanced at me for a second and turned his attention back at the mirror and replied. I have no concern for those things. The only thing that matters to me are my great looks so trivial things like that don't come to mind. He's really is a self-centered bastard isn't he? I guess you're right. But are you fine if the class remained at the bottom? Like I said before, those things are meaningless to me. Whether I'm at class A or D, my position in the world after I graduate is set in stone. Listening to this guy might be a pain, but the way he carries himself tells a different story. He's far more capable than what he looks like. It seemed to me that you're no mere talk aren't you, Koenji. A sudden thought arrived and a smile formed in my face as I looked at this guy. Hey Koenji. What type of girls you find interesting? If this was me during that time I got reincarnated as a slime, then this is super embarrassing. But I've lived for so long that I even managed to watch universes die. So the concept of gender totally vanished within me and I do not find anyone deserving a romantic feelings with me besides Seal. First of all, you are not my type, rejected without even answering my question? I see. That's why I'm asking you. I can't help but shout and I tried smacking his shoulder a little bit but he caught it with his arms. What are you doing? I've been taking care of this body so I can't allow you to lay your hands on me. He looked at me while holding my hands. His smile is annoying as ever and his grip is strong but gentle. Well you annoyed me, hemp, I said while looking away and grabbing my arms. With my little acting, Koenji stopped smiling and stopped looking at his mirror. 
He focused his attention towards me and looked at me straight in the eyes. Fufu. What's this? Are you trying to seduce me with those eyes of yours? His expression didn't change and I can feel the pressure he is giving but it didn't have any effect on me. Stop with this games, what do you want with me Tempest San? Fuhahaha. I see. A pressure similar to Manabu. I let go of my innocent act and smiled back at him. We have a bit of stare down for a couple of minutes until I broke the silence. Well if that's what you want. I have a proposal for you Koinji and I don't mean it romantically. And how would that benefit me? And what are the reasons for me to agree? With this, I grinned and stood up from the bench. He looked at me, but I know that his guard is through the roof right now. Let's play a game of arm wrestling, and the loser will do anything the winner asks. He then started laughing at my face. I understand why he would, which made this much more perfect. I don't know what your intentions are, but please find someone else to play with. He said nonchalantly while returning to his mirror, but I'm not done yet. Is that so? Well I did try looking for someone to play arm wrestling with but those guys are weak. I thought you of all people are the strongest due to the ability you've shown during that swimming contest. But, I guess you're no different from them huh? This piqued his interest and I gained his attention again. Of course everything about asking anyone about arm wrestling is a lie but he doesn't need to find that out. Ho? Oh, is that a challenge? He asked with seriousness on his eyes. Yeah you could say that. You're one of the top scorers on our class and you have good physique as a student which made me think that your talent for sports are no joke but I guess things can be a let down sometimes. I gave out a disappointed sigh as I looked away with a solemn expression. I feel the irritation coming out from him but he's harder to shake than I thought. I don't care what you think of me. I don't want to play with your little games. And besides, my abilities are far greater than yours especially in physical strength. Hmm. I don't know about that one but that's a little bit rude. Why? Because I'm a woman. I said a little irritated too. You're the one saying that but it's obvious isn't it? Even if you're a guy, you won't stand a chance against me. You arrogant fool. Want to find that out? Oh never mind. Maybe you'll cry if you lost. Fufu. Don't want to embarrass yourself so I guess you made the right decision. Koenji frowned and his eyebrows twitched for a moment. But I was enjoying it. Fine, I'll play with your little game. But if you lose, make sure to prepare yourself. Gotcha. Phew ha ha ha. Due to my experience handling self-centered people especially that weeb of a dragon, this thing is a piece of cake for me. Now that I've got the ball rolling all I need is to win. What are you gonna ask me if I lose? Are you gonna make me do naughty stuff? I said while teasing him. He was clearly annoyed by me and wanted to end things quick. As I said earlier. You are not my type. So rest assured, you're not gonna be doing that kind of things. We then placed both of our hands together on the nearby table we found. We prepared for a moment until we began our little match. He's strong for sure, but I'm not that far behind him in this form. I think this is doable. When he caught my arms earlier, I noticed that he's holding himself back but I can sense that he's stronger than he looks. But due to my intense training and the experimentation on me in the black box, I've gained abilities that no normal human being posses. He might even match Kyo if they were to fight. But I wonder who are stronger between them. Kyo was also a league of his own. His strength based on the information that I got is above normal human being, and his talent for martial arts is nothing to scoff at. But Koenji is a different case. I only find him amusing but I have no interest in him until now. Let's gauge his strength shall we? Are you ready? I'm always ready. Careful not to lose your pride Tempest San. Same to you buddy. We began after the countdown. It was an intense battle of strength and his power is no joke. Both of us struggled for a bit but I've managed to get an advantage over him. You're strong Tempest San. I can't believe that fragile body of yours possess this kind of strength. That hurts you fool. I'll make you pay by defeating you. We continued for a couple of minutes but both of us aren't even giving up. Seal. Is he even human? How can he stay like this for so long? Affirmative. The individual named Koenji is a human. His strength is attained due to his natural abilities which is rare for most humans to achieve. I believe that the individual Koenji posse is an ability that enables him to regain his energy with a short amount of rest. If that's the case then this guy is a big deal. 
I put on my full force into it and we've managed to break the table in half due to pressure we were giving it. In the end, I won but it was a hard fight I've had for a long time, well I guess since the day I left the black box. TCH. I'm impressed by your will and strength. It was a fair fight and I've lost. Huh. I thought you'd react much aggressive than that. I was confused by his reaction. I really thought that he would cause a tantrum and deny everything but he seems to be accepting it all. There's no reason for me to overreact. The only thing that matter to me is myself. And because I agreed with your little game then I guess I'll honor your request. He seemed to be giving up and not even caring about our fight anymore and he even looked ready to get this over with. But I'm at a loss on what I should ask him so I asked Seal instead. Seal. What do you think I should ask him to do? I'd suggest to Master that Koenji should not participate on the upcoming activity that will be conducted by the school. Oh. And why is that? I can't tell Master as it would ruin the purpose. Hum. Well if you say so. After talking to Seal, I told Koenji the conditions that I have and he was confused about it too for a moment. I'm fine not joining. After this we're done is that correct? Yes. Next activity. You won't be joining and after that, you can do whatever you please. Hida started laughing again as he looked at me. Gahaha. I thought you want to raise the class to class A. But now, I can see what your true purpose was. Huh. He saw through me. Negative. What do you mean Koenji? Me not joining would cause a lot of problems for the class am I right? Other than losing class points, our classmates would began to feel hatred towards the person who is reason for those deductions which makes teamwork impossible to achieve. And, you think that's my real purpose for approaching you? He looked at me dead in the eyes while smiling like crazy. Am I wrong? You want to use me, a person who does not want to cooperate with the class to disrupt their progress. If your true goal was to aim class A then you won't even think about asking me to back out on the activities but you asked me nonetheless. He seemed to be very happy about it and I can't help but to applaud him to his analysis. So what are your conclusions? You just want to cause chaos within our classmates and come out as the hero who unites the class am I right? Phew ha 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 ha. Very interesting Koenji. Very interesting indeed. I'll let you go run wild in that little world of yours so I'll take my leave now. As I was giving my parting words for him and started walking away. I looked at him for a brief moment and said. Keep your promise to me will you? I'm not a fan of people that can't keep their words. Ho ho ho. Don't worry. I lost and it was very interesting. I'll do what you want. And besides I don't have any lingering connections to our class so I don't mind if you want to cause some problems. I see. Well then goodbye, Koenji. I walked away and reached towards my room in the apartments. After changing my clothes, I went to bed and started laughing. Koenji, you really are self-centered. Fuhaha. You're not wrong that I want to create a little chaos but. A sinister smile formed in my lips. You're just a side dish for the main event.